bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be. Hey guys, so we're out here at Mitri Lake. Um, it's about 10 miles out of uh, the town of Yuma, Arizona, and got up this morning to hear this weird whining noise. And so I walked outside, and uh, they're flying remote control planes, and they're the ones that land on the water and everything, and it's really neat. And I just realized there was a gentleman out there, I thought he was fishing, but he was retrieving the planes that didn't make it back. And, and they're all battery operated, so they're really pretty quiet. So we got the, the club, it, it must be Tuesday's club day of flying your uh, planes, which um, I'm really happy to see that this morning because now it lets me know that I can fly the drone later on and get me some uh, photos. One thing I do like about those is they can land in the water and not sink. I don't think the drone floats. But. So let's just check them out and watch them fly their toys. It's really interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one that uh, is like this. Those things are like flying. Yeah, they, and it's nice because now they have the batteries down, you know, that are so powerful that they're nice and quiet. I think we need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty's got his drone, but um, Scotty actually does know a little bit about flying. We have a friend who is a pilot and uh, he's gone up with him quite a few times and learned some stuff. So, so he's been into flying and flying in boats. <laughs> yeah, that's the best of both worlds, right there. Yeah, flying in boats with one of those things. <laughs> but we just need a bigger camper if I'm going to have one of those airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, they must all get together here on Tuesdays. Fly their airplanes. Seems like quite the fun little group. A couple right over there. Yeah, look at that big old. That's a huge one right there. Wow. I'm assuming he's going to take off. Oh, maybe it is battery operated too. Yeah. And I'll put back on the end of that and I'll see what I can find. 
just gonna get ready to take that stuff out. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, you're way here. Are you guys part of this group? Yep. Do you guys we have are this group? Yeah. What is what is your group called? What is your what's your group called? We're uh we're out of Yuma. We're the Yuma Arrow Modelers Club. All right. Yeah. And you guys come down here every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And and then we have a flying field. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Before the sun gets up, we're here. Wow. Usually because there's no wind. Yeah. The flying field is located out on 95. You know where the gym's at? No, we do not. Okay, it's not by the, just past the gym on the right hand side. Okay, so if somebody's interested in getting a hold of you guys, they just go down there to the gym in, U in Yuma? The gym. The, the gin. gin. Oh, oh yeah. the gin. I do yeah. know where the gin is. Yeah, the gin. Yes, okay. That's great. I heard this morning, I well, this is a lot of fun. So, what type of airplane do you have? It's closed. Oh, lots closed. of different kinds. <laughs> I have that one out there. It's tidewater. Tidewater. Okay. How long have you guys been flying for? Well, I've been flying since '82. '82. How about <laughs> you? How long have you been flying? Uh, 21 years. Wow. wow. Right on. And I just have a little drone. <laughs> <laughs> Another couple of years, I'll know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, uh, I see somebody brought the boat out. That means they know what they're yeah, doing. That's, that's you, mine. <laughs> that's, that's the Mr. Lake Search and Rescue. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a fun group, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> Well, that definitely looks like a lot of fun. Oh, it is. It's kept me hooked for over 40 years. Wow, 40 years. <laughs> One of those things, huh? <laughs> oh. Well, you sure do a heck of a nice job flying it. This is a real easy airplane to fly. So I had a question, gentlemen. How, how fast do these planes usually fly? It looks like they do at 35 miles an hour. Well, they do, do a lot more. Do, do they? <laughs> Anywhere from 10 or 15 to well over 200. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. wow. That's we had moving. one of the show, what was it last year or the year before? Oh, it was really quick. Well, the guy It's got a little, it's got a choice. Cylinder fuselage. Oh yeah. And it turns at forty thousand RPM. The motor that's in there, it's an electric motor. Wow. Man, does it move? Wow. Incredible. So they move out. Yeah, they really go. <laughs> you cold? That, that, that's wow. where you have to work hard to keep yeah. an eyeball on them. Well, you got to be thinking well ahead of them. Yeah. Oh, I would think you, you so. Can't, you can't be thinking behind. Too fast for me. I'm well sorry. Ahead. I can't keep. I can't keep up with this <laughs> anymore. Not that I ever could, but. <laughs> Oh, is, well, it looks so. like you gentlemen are having a lot of fun. Yeah, what a beautiful day. <laughs> right. I don't like the electric ones. <laughs> yeah, That's the, this is the first I've seen them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Nice and quiet. It's all been the, the gas ones and, you know, they yeah. make a little more noise. I think they know. even make a The electric ones are slightly more pleasant, though. There's usually two of us with gas machines out here, or fuel us out here. Yeah. I usually do. I just I just turned to electric this year. This uh, if I don't get any better on it, pretty soon I'm going to go back to fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm having a hell of a time. <laughs>
Oh, You'll get her. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. You have a wonderful day. So this is the day use area. Uh, this recreation site is named in honor of W.E. Bill Carapace, a dedicated sportsman and outstanding member of the Yuma community who served as the driving force to improving the recreation facilities here for all to enjoy. Wow, that's great. And then they had the um, the blue the bluegill and a catfish and trout. And there's no trout in this one, so they must they must uh, they don't um, um, stock it. Oh, it, oh, it says it says largemouth bass limit six bass. So there are bass. Uh, 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 okay, I, I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Globally important bird. The Metri Lake Wildlife Area is part of a global network of places recognized for their outstanding value to bird conservation. And there, there are definitely a lot of birds here.